Congressman Loudermilk is on now. He's got an announcement of his own today that I, I think kind of ties into this, but I don't know what it is. Barry, welcome to the program. Glenn, it's, uh, it's always good to be with you, not necessarily under these circumstances. Yeah. But uh, thank you and Steve for the resilience through all this. It's, 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 it's terrible. It's ridiculous. But it's, it's sort of like what my dad told me. He was a, a medic in World War II. Uh, I was involved in the D-Day invasion, Battle of the Bulge, all the way uh, into Germany. And he used to tell me, he said, son, they don't shoot at you till you're taking the ground. I know. And uh, you, you, we we must be over the target for taking this. this uh, well, we know this, we are, Barry. I mean, you, you've yeah. been a big part of helping us get uh, access to all of the video food, footage. And we know we are. There, there, The more footage that is released the more this looks like a total and complete setup and lie. Well, that's part of the transparency part of the Constitution. That's why we have the freedom of the press to be able to be transparent and hold government accountable. And this is what they're trying to strip away. And as you just said, if you're going to go after Steve Baker, you need to go after the dozens of other uh, reporters that were present in the Capitol that day who didn't do anything wrong. And that's why we want to make sure we got these videos uh, regarding Steve and where he was out early. And I know you guys have worked all night to do that. We got it early, early this morning, and I I can't thank you enough for that, Congressman. Yeah, and um, our staff, they have I I can't commend them enough. I mean, we've got this flu-like thing going through everywhere. I, I think half our staff has been sick including me this week, but they stayed late. They got it done. Um, And we were also pushing to make sure we were able to do something else today. Um, Literally, just before I came on, uh, Speaker Mike Johnson released what we've been working on over the past uh, several several weeks is uh, today, uh, an additional 5,000 hours of video footage will be available on Rumble. It's going to be rolling out throughout the day. Um, it's taken us a while to get to this because it's, it's a technical process. You've got to convert these videos from the CCTV format into a internet friendly format. And when we first started doing this, when, uh, speaker Johnson said, let's get them all out there. It was just taking our investigative team a full time, just trying to get all this processed, which was taking us away from the other parts of the investigation. So how many, so how many hours speaker- are there in total? I mean, so I know you're going to release 5,000 hours. Is that right. all of it? or? No, no. We, we're going to continue doing. Our goal is to do about 1,200 uh, hours um, a day if we can uh, through the processing. So what we've done is I just went to the speaker. I said, look, it's taking all of our time together. I, I, I agree with you. We should get all of this out there. But it's taking our investigative team's time just doing this, and it's taking us away from the other important aspects of investigating January 6th, uh, like the select committee and what they did and how they violated rules and, and how their report is is just a fabrication. And so I suggested, can we just contract? Can we find a contractor and hire a contractor to come in and get all, you know, start start the process of getting all these videos uploaded? And so he approved it. And so uh, it took us just a little bit of time to get the contract done, but the contractor's been working on getting the videos uploaded. Um, and so the the 5,000 will be available today. It, it may take a little while for them to propagate through the yeah. system on Rumble. Um, but we are going to continue every week with rolling out more and more, uh, just you know, anticipating some technical issues or whatever. We're looking at maybe eight weeks. And so it, it, we should have all 40,000 hours up. Um, Barry, is this uh, because of Steve or partly in co- because of what's going on? It's it, the, the, or the, the timing? videos that we're releasing, um, the prioritization of which videos we decided to do first is partially because of what Steve is going through. Um, we, because that is important to get those angles and those things out. And it helped us to work on both at one time. Um, and so that was part of it because, uh, we see the direction that certain people are going and what they're trying to cover up. And so, um, we're going to get all the video out there, 
Um, but we did prioritize uh, some of these angles and these footages, um, and that's what we're looking at. What is what are the most important to uh, support uh, the findings in our investigation, as well as I mean, Steve has been a, a great team player with us. Um, we he you know he gets information, and and uh, when he gets something that he thinks is valuable to our investigation. Um, he'll share it with us, and he offered uh, it all to him access. He offered all of it to the FBI, and I mean, on day one when he had it, he was like, "If you need it, you can have it." I mean, he's he was documenting. I don't want to get into it. Um, Congressman uh, Barry Loudermilk from Georgia, thank you, sincerely. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, we appreciate all you're doing, and definitely our prayers are with Steve. Yes. I mean, this is. This is horrendous. It's it's terrible. We're going to be there uh, to make sure that justice is done, and 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 that means that the freedom, our constitution, is upheld, and the truth be known. Thank you so much, Congressman. Congressman Barry Loudermilk from uh, Georgia, a true friend indeed.